we weren't so much standing on the shoulders of giants, we were falling off the shoulders of giants. We had Joyce and Beckett and Wilde and Yeats and Easter Island statues standing on our backs saying, look what we've done, what are you going to do, little people? Uh, so we had to struggle out from under that. And a place like the Writers' Centre was important for us in that we saw that, that the state and that the people recognised that Irish writers had a, had a role. Irish writing is one of the great brand successes of the country internationally and the idea of a writer's centre just makes so much easy, natural sense. I've always asked why, why Irish writers are so good. It's a tradition and like all traditions, it works by mysterious interconnections. I think these 30 years have just been astonishing in terms of the, the different voices that have arisen. It's exciting to be part of the Irish Writers' Centre board as we push forward to ensure that more people from underrepresented backgrounds are invited into this space. Our relevance really is about that community, that home that we're trying to establish for writers at all levels. The Irish Writers' Centre has helped me personally a lot of ways. Training in terms of the, I guess, the workshop aspect and the professional development. Writerly ambition works in generations and works in groups and tribes. So if you're looking for your tribe, uh, a place like the Writers' Centre is a good place to start. To be part of the community as well, even just like coming through the doors, wondering who's going to be manning the desk and, get, and giving you tea that day is always just nice. It becomes part of your routine. Critic Falcha Kriul Rome, their Honigman Shaw, then Kate or Glint the Father O'Hing, Agus Fayeman, Alcha Kane, a Hula or a Hagaman Shaw. And it is such a huge, warm community of female writers, of migrant writers. I, like, we like talking to each other and supporting each other, sending each other writing. And the programs I was on here were about community building. Writers don't write because they necessarily want to, but because they need to. Yeah, they have to, have to. I'm really cranky when I don't write. It's so good to me just scream of. The fact that this house, this beautiful house, is preserved and as a writer's centre, it's, it's a wonderful thing. A community space where people can meet and come together, that's hugely important. For anyone who would like to develop their career, to develop their craft, that there's a space to meet other writers, to have these discussions and to see where writing can take them. I'm very impressed by the resources online here in the Irish Writers' Centre because the pandemic removed the building from everybody's lives and suddenly we were in a kind of different space and that online space is really well functioning here in terms of the amount of resources that you can find click away. We believe that we're one of the biggest employers of writers on the island. We want to continue doing that, providing employment opportunities for writers and the more we can support them, the more they will be self-sufficient and self-reliant and resilient. The screen already taught Dirk Tosuamach, Dini Ta Escrive the Coupe Blin, I guess Dini like more Lara Freshen, I guess being a Dini Shinner Fad like Maskele Kayla S and Urgenov Shaw, or the Tire House or Fad. People who were starting in their career 30 years ago are coming back as facilitators, are coming back as mentors, are coming back and supporting the younger generation. We really want to be at the forefront where we're uh, discovering new writers that will be the Irish writers of the future. I think that's the thing, if you want to belong here, then you should belong here. I think that's, that's all there is to it.